But we're currently on uh, information gathering. There's uh, a really strong coordination cell being set up uh, in the, with the Moroccan uh, local emergency management agency. So we're hoping that more information now is going to flow into the local emergency management agency and feed down to us so we can then go and investigate where the reports are that, that the most people are, are saveable lives are in, in the villages in the area. What are you expecting? Uh, we're expecting to be doing um, a lot of wide area assessment and accessing villages that, that have potentially been cut off uh, by landslides and rockfall. So we're, we're expecting to, to potentially be accessing remote villages to go on, to go and help people. Uh, not, not the same kind of situation that we saw in Turkey with a large city collapse, but more sort of remote villages that, that seem to need assistance at the moment. Can you introduce us to this fellow next to you here and tell us his name and if he's and his, his work experience? Yeah, of course I can. What's his name, Gary? So this is Puri. Puri's a two-year-old, so this is his first deployment overseas. He just qualified in July and he's trained to indicate on live human scent. So he'll search for anyone who's trapped and uh, give us an indication of where they may be. Is this his first deployment? Yeah, this is his first deployment. He just qualified in July, so this is his first deployment overseas.